Hey, hey, what is up, drummers? Andrew Rooney here. I've just finished doing a whole heap of recording. Um, and I thought while everything's set up, you know, I may as well give you a rundown. Nobody's asked for a rundown <laughs> on my recording setup, but I'll give you one anyway. And um, hopefully it, it helps someone out there. I've done a rundown like this on my three mic setup that I was using previously. And now I'm um, going and putting my big boy pants on and trying a four mic setup. So here it is. All right, all right, we'll start at the very beginning. I am using a vintage Ludwig Vistalite drum kit uh, from the 60s and a superphonic snare. Um, my cymbals, if anyone is interested, I've got a K, not a K custom, just K, 14 inch hi-hats. This one here I've just honestly just using because it fits into the setup <laughs> nice and nice and easy it's just a alchemy uh 16 inch professional and over here instead of a ride um just for fun i'm using a k dark crash 19. um the songs i was recording today didn't really require a lot of ride sound so i, I just put a crash over there and uh let's see sticks vic firth by the way all these links are in the description of the video so you can get all the stuff easily it's just a click away on my sweet water links in the description headphones big call when you're trying to choose headphones i've gone for the sony mdr7506 and i didn't make that decision lightly that was after uh consulting a lot of professional engineers and a lot of friends who have tried thousands of sets of headphones and all roads led back to the Sony MDR7506. Again, links in the description of my videos. Um, so I'm using four mics today. Um, I've only got, oh, the reason for that is because I've only got four channels in my interface, which by the way, this little beast here, which you can't see very well because it's got my laptop on it. This is where it's at. It is a Scarlett uh, Focusrite. 18i8 you can put four channels into there this thing is worth its weight in gold go and get two of them um and that is the interface so as you can see that's where all the mics plug into if you're if there's any confusion over the role of that sneaky little device and it just plugs via usb into my laptop one connection into my laptop it's insane okay mics got four mics I'm actually speaking on my snare mic, which is normally situated on that stand right in there. And I have that, am I gonna be able to, no. I'm not gonna be able to put that down. But I normally have that just over the rim of my snare, uh, that's, uh, that snare mic, um, about three finger, if you put three fingers together, that kind of height above the rim of the snare, pointing across the snare. Or some people like to point at the middle of the snare, I like to point it across. I've got two overheads. I used to only use one overhead. Um, so this overhead is an Audio-Technica AT2020. A very cheap microphone, as you'll see. I think it's about $99. Uh, you'll see that in the description. If you click on the Sweetwater link, you'll see that it's actually a very affordable, cheap microphone. My other overhead is an Audio Technica AT2035. So you're probably thinking, why don't you have the same matched pair as overhead condensers? And the reason for that is pretty simple. Uh, this one here, the AT2035, has the added function of being able to um, do a 10 dB pad. So you can basically turn the gain of this mic up or down. Um, you can't do that on the AT2020, on the cheaper one. Uh, what other advantages? Uh, it's got a high shelf, I think, or sorry, uh, you can roll off the low end, basically. Yeah, not a high shelf, <laughs> ignore that. You can roll off the low end. You can see that on the switch there. So I just like it for recording cymbals. 
uh, GoPros there, but let's do the mics first. Let's mosey on down to the kick mic. I've experimented with a lot of different ways of micing a kick, and I used to really be in love with micing a kick from the outside of the head. Uh, now I've actually gone inside the head and I don't have very good stands, so I'm leaning a long boom stand on a bag and just getting the mic in there that way. I don't like to lie the mic down on the pillow uh, or the cushion inside a bass drum, so I like to have it slightly elevated. Uh, it's not my drum kit, so I didn't want to go moving that front head um, to adjust it, but I probably would have, if I could choose, have that mic somewhere around uh, exactly in the middle of the drum pointing at the uh, beta. Uh, so that's our mics. I've got a little light here just to shed a little bit of light on the situation and a whole heap of gear that is not mine, but I work with it. I use it. Let's pop around here. This is my GoPro. That's the angle I'm going for at the moment. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like that angle. You get get a bit of everything and I've actually never used that angle so it's something a little bit different and I also do a foot cam which is basically right here so you can see both of my feet in case you're interested in case you've got a foot fetish and you want to see what drummers are doing with their feet all my gear is pretty um, consumer grade Iron Cobra 600 beat to death. Actually this one's new. It's an ANF hi-hat pedal. It's pretty fancy. Complete with the red felt in there. Um, so yeah, that is a nice little bit of kit. And um, that is about it. As I say, all the links to um, all of these things that I've mentioned in this video are in the link of the description. So yeah, you can just kind of see the other way, I guess, from what I see. There is a mirror there, so I can see if I'm pulling weird faces. Um, I am reading the covers that you saw recently. Actually, most of my covers you'll see that I'm reading. And um, all of the charts are available over at Drumeo for free. Not charts, transcriptions available for free over at Drumeo. Just follow my link in the description for a full 30-day trial. And... Uh, free transcriptions? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Free transcriptions, which could be anywhere up to like $10 US each. Do my trial, go pick them up for free. And uh, that's the that's the rundown. It's kind of as simple as that. Door, I'm using Reaper, uh, which is a free door for anybody out there who is on a budget. And um, that's all she wrote. I hope this video helped you out in some way and I hope you enjoy my covers. Take care everybody.